Okay, let's do some multiplication, two digit by two digit. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply the ones place here, and then we're going to multiply the ones the ones with the tens place. So that's the direction we're going to go in. So let's multiply first of all. What is seven times eight? That is fifty six. So what we're going to do is add five here. We're going to carry. 5 over to the tens place and we're going to multiply first what is 7 times 5 in the tens place which is 35 plus 5 is 40 I'm going to line up my numbers according to their place so we're going to move over to the tens place now I'm going to put a 0 here for the tens place and I am going to go from here to tens place to the ones place, I have to multiply both numbers at the top, and I'm going to take this number to tens place to three, and I'm going to multiply that with the number in the tens place. So let's do three times eight, which is twenty-four. So what I'm going to do is scratch out this five because I use that for the ones place. Now I'm going to say carry over the two. For the tens place, I did 3 times 8. Now I need to do 3 times 5 is 15, plus 2 is 17. So we make this 1 look a little better there. We know that's a thousand. So now what I need to do is add. So 6 plus 0 is 6. 0 plus 4 is 4. 4 plus 7 is 11. I'm going to carry. Make this look a little better. That one. Whoa. Okay, that's a one. Gonna carry over one to the thousands place. So one plus one is two. So our final answer is two thousand one hundred forty seven. Okay, so let's look at another multiplication problem. Two digit by two digit. We're gonna follow the same procedure. Just like the first one, we're going to multiply. Let's do this step by step this time, slow it down. So we're going to say 7 times 8 ones is 56. Let me write that in a different color. This is 56. Now remember, we're going to carry that over in the tens place in which we're going from right to left. So in this case, we're going to move from the ones to the tens. And we're going to carry 5 over in the tens place. So now we're going to change this color. We're going to go from the 1's to the tens. So we're going to multiply 7 times 2 tens. So 7 times 2 is 14. Plus 5 is 19. Move that back to black. Alright. One thing I didn't mention the first time is... Now that we're done with the 7, so what I would like to do is just scratch that out to indicate that I am done multiplying the 1's place. So now I'm going to move over to the 10's place, in which this case we have the 1 is in the 10's place. So before we do that, since we're moving over to the 10's place, I need to add a 0 here. Alright, now next I'm going to say 1 times 8 okay so now all I have to do is say 1 times 8 and that is 8 so I put that here in the tens place the next thing I'm going to do I'm moving over again right to left I'm just going to trace what I did earlier and one thing I need to do is cross this out because I use that for the ones place I don't want to confuse that with what I'm doing in the tens place. I did 1 times 8. Now I need to do 1 times 2. So let's change that to a pink. So I'm going to go here. 1 times 2 now. And that is 2. I'm going to put that in the hundreds place. So what I need to do now is simply add these numbers. So 6 plus 0 is 6. 9 plus 8 is 17. 
I need to carry over 1 in the hundreds place. 1 plus 1 is 2. And then 2 plus 2 is 4. So my answer is 476. All right, let's try a third one for practice. And this number I am going to multiply with using a zero in a number. So we're going to follow the same strategies. We're going to multiply. I'm trying to go a little slower for you. And I want you to follow along this time. And if you feel as though you can move ahead before me, go ahead for it. But make sure if you need to back up, all you have to do is stop and the tape or the recording and just go backwards and just listen to it again. So again, we're going to start with 3 times 0, and that is 0. Now remember, we multiply 3 times the 1's place. In just a case, let me just go ahead and do that. I didn't do that on the first two problems, but I'm going to divide this in half so you can see just in case you need to see this. We know this is in the 1's, and the next place value, or the next value, is the 10's. All right, I didn't need to put the apostrophe, but it's there. That's my little buzzer that the other problems are done. All right, now we're going to move over to the tens place. So now we need to multiply 3 times 8. And 3 times 8 is 24. I didn't mean to write it in blue, but it's in blue. Now we're going to move over to the tens place. And remember, when I move over to the tens place, I need to add a zero. I'm moving on to a new place value. So let's scratch out the three. We're done with the ones place. So we don't. I, want, I don't want to confuse the three with anything that I'm, move, that I'm doing in the tens place. So I scratch out the three. So now I'm going to multiply the tens place. In this case, I'm going to multiply four times zero. So let's do that. Four times zero is zero. I write that in the tens place. So I'm done with that. So if you if you need to you can scratch it. I'll be done with that as well. So the next thing I need to do is multiply four times eight in the tens place. So four times eight is thirty two. It's very important that you know your multiplication that will help you out a lot. So all we have to do now is just simply add. 0 plus 0 is 0. 4 plus 0 is 4. I'm about to say 0. This is 4. 2 plus 2 is 4. And we just bring down the 3. There's nothing to add that with. So our answer is 3,440.